The Conceited Nobody. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m. My brakes when I'm driving. I just stay from violence, cause these young niggas be wildin'. I just realized that champagne ain't my favorite, but I'ma drink that fly shit. Yeah, blowing up uh, with the Fiji water. I ain't tryna block no blessings, I don't need no border. I ain't really expect that nigga to cost me, so I need a border. I ain't gotta get it, no, I'ma get it back, that's law and order. You never heard of the conceited nobody return of the walking dead, <laughs> aka return of the max. That's what I titled this. You already know I am this mature, aka hard five Harrison, aka the blueprint, aka Mr. Fan Effects, aka I'm done with my aka's. We up in here, man. Dark skinned motherfucker Thanos. And I got my four more, I forgot. <laughs> I got my full yeah. Hey, that dark skin thing was my favorite, man. Yeah. This, this this fantasy football season, I'll be in there terrorizing them. Yeah. I'll be in there every time I win, I post a thing on Ziff. And, and it, it was funny as fuck, though, because when I let, lost last year, they was all sitting on their little pictures and stuff to pay me back. They yeah. posted a picture of Thanos disappearing. You know what I'm saying? Out there with the best record. But you already know how we do. We up in here, man, about that with a fantastic show, like always. I'm up here with the, to my right hand, my right hand man, the man with the plan, Juvie, Renaissance motherfucking Juvie, Future. Yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me do something real quick. Future World Lightweight Champion. Yes. Two sir. division champion, Dream yes, Walter Wade. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know I'm moving like right there. What's that? Yeah, that you? title. Kobe Man in the gym. You know shit staying back at that. And then you know we in the back of my house, so you gotta put the work hours in. It's a, it's a majority of your life. You hey, feel me? So these, shit these, doing that. These doing people that. are not playing with us. You feel me? What's up to his right, though, man? We got the man of the hour. Uh, our guest. I don't want to just re, 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 resign him to just the guest. That's my buddy. That's my boy. Ramasad. Appreciate that. Appreciate I, that. I refuse to call him a local rapper. I hate <laughs> even if you're a local yeah. rapper. Just saying it is disparaging, you know what I'm saying? It is. It is. It is it's man. like he's trying to be disrespectful, but, but he, he's a rapper who lives locally. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But everybody yeah. local to somewhere, man. Yeah. Every, every, everybody, man. Jay-Z was local to Bro uh, Brooklyn. Yeah. They wasn't buying his shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He cop like going back to sell crack. Yeah. <laughs> Things like that. But yeah. how, how y'all feeling, man? Man, I'm good, good man. Man, I'm just like... Hey, I, I'm tired. I'm tired of America, dog. You tired? This motherfucker, man. It's just been a. It's just. It's been, I ain't, I'm not tired. Like year. I'm not tired of it, bro. But it's like we here. You feel me? You know we here. You gotta do what you gotta do every day. So it is what it is. But it's like bro, I really want to not be doing shit. I want right. to do what the fuck I want to do every day. Right. And that's not hustling. Like I hate when people like. I hate when people like. Like you don't want to fucking like you know what I mean like you don't like. Okay. The entrepreneurship shit, like motherfucker, well, you could just, you can just, I can quit my job and then start my own business, but I still gotta fucking, that shit way more stress. It is, man. You feel me? So it's like, bro, I yourself, don't wanna man. fucking, I wanna make money the easiest fucking way. You feel me? I don't want that shit to be stressful. Yeah. So that's. You know, but you know, side doing what I gotta do every day to possibly make that shit. I mean, it's it's definitely cool to go to work. I mean, you gotta generate some income, but you know, yeah, you gotta just when you get off of work, you gotta put a couple hours in on your own thing. That's yeah. like that is kind of like my whole little thing, man. When I get off of work, man, I try to put some time in on my little dream. Cause Not to. I'm a firm believer in your boss ain't gonna never pay you enough to be his neighbor, man. Hell no, nah. you can't you can't let a motherfucker buy your dream out either. You feel me? Right. You gotta keep trying to do, trying, trying. You feel me? You gotta keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm over here doing a little mic shake, man. So I'm I'm really not paying attention, y'all. It's shit until I hear it in the mic. Oh, <laughs> like so, man. I'm like five seconds behind, y'all. But man, I I totally get what you said. I'm with Juvie on that. I hate this work shit. Hey, 
I was just thinking about that. First off, shout out to everybody who took part in the Day of Atonement. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you were saying, Rose? But yeah, you know how people be like, uh, like, like I was saying, like, they'll be, oh, uh, yeah, you know, quit the job and go out there and do, you know, <laughs> do this, do your own business. Like, motherfucker, you know how stressful that shit is? How? You know what I mean, it's like, if how I don't, social if I don't media have, if I don't have, is. social media it is. That's like, some social media they, shit. They make, they paint that shit, they paint that shit what it's not. You feel yeah, me? You can't. If, that, if that's what you want to do, and that's what you want to do, and it's gonna work for you. That's cool. But you know, if you, you got, you, really you know, know, if you got some bread saved up, I mean, you gotta have some stuff gotta, lined you up. You can't, stuff, just, you can't just, or you gotta be a bum, <laughs> or a hobo, or yeah, because people who ain't got real bills can sit around and bullshit. You yeah, know, yeah, what yeah, they yeah. sit around all day playing I'm around, you, collecting that little uh, state funded. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is what it is, bro. Listen, we all sit out here wishing, I wish I had 50000 that I could just relax with. You know what I'm saying? Right. To be comfortable. Because yeah, what it is, you just... comfortable for a month or two. It's hard. It's hard to dream when you, your bills do. It is. It is, People man. don't understand how deep that is to where you be like, I could be so much better if it was so much better. But I, I'm telling you, man, you got to, um, you know, you got to dedicate a little bit of your free time that you may, let's say, if you enjoy watching sports or whatever, you know, you just, you know, I just, I try to make the sacrifice. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I even, sometimes I get into it, man, with my significant other, man, and I'll be like, look, man, I, you know, I gotta have this little section of time for me, man. I need to do this stuff. And, uh, you know, it's a struggle, man, but, I just don't want to look back on my life and not have uh, tried to go for mine. You feel me? So I, I just try every day, man. That's the real shit. And like all I say, when I go to work, you got to see like at least, I got to see like when I'm going to the speed, when I see about five white people tell me hi. And I say, what's up, how you doing? They say, all right, just living the dream. Like that's the usual shit. <laughs> and so I always be like, somebody's. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, if you yeah. don't live your own dream, you live in somebody's. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, like, I drive trucks. One time somebody said, I'm going to have a truck company. And somebody's going to be driving for me. I don't know what he look like, but he'll be driving for me. And that's me. Like, nigga, that's me. I'm the motherfucking dreamer. How you doing, dreamer? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. So that's where that's where we be at with it. Uh, so, so it's all about... I understand both points. I done been confronted with both points. One, where you like, shit, I'm just tired of work and I need to focus on myself. And then, like, let me make the most of my supposed free time. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I do. That's I try to do. Be, like, I mean, we all we all get tired. Yeah, definitely yeah. tired of that, that shit, man. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do to take care of the here and now. But I just, uh, you know, I just try to think about the future, man. And I try to I, I got this little saying, and I just say it's brick by brick. So, like, every day I try to do something different, you know, yeah. toward building building my little shit, man. And I just, you know, even if it's just a 30 minutes or something, you know, I just try to do something. And uh, yeah. it, That's you know, all you can do, though. Then I look back on it, man, after, you know, four or five months, man, and I done, I done made some real strides. So... You know, you don't. It don't have to happen overnight. Social media, you know, that'll. You know, they act like they just got rich last night. But, One you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. but, One <laughs> but in all reality, man, it's it's a process, man. And you know, you just try to learn as much as you can and try to work as smart as you can. Would always be my advice, man. Uh -huh. And one of the things that it dissuades you or make you feel like you're not making the supposed strides is. When you start measuring your success by other people's standards, yeah, you you definitely can't do that. Yeah, man. and and yep. you you be you be out here, people be acting like they really balling out of control or whatever, and they they struggle. You know what I'm saying? And we get caught up in and trying debt to, like a motherfucker, debt like a motherfucker, man. And on, man. everybody millionaire in their own mind. The thing about it is, like I was thinking about today, everybody like we we think that we just success by numbers. Yeah. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about like, people think that if you get a million likes and shit that you're successful, if you have an X amount of numbers on, of followers on YouTube, you're successful. 
when when the numbers don't generate income and shit, man, what what, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? So it becomes a popularity contest or a look at me contest. It's definitely a popularity contest. So, so I don't know. It's just for, you know, a lot of it's for bragging rights, man. Because, um, like I said, man, it's a lot of guys don't, um, you know, that they, they do get a lot of views. But, you know, their stuff ain't monetized. So they wouldn't be collecting that, man. It's just, you know, you just got to learn what's going on, man. And, that's, that's my. Like this on your phone real quick, T.R. Sound. My shit sounds cool. But you, yeah, so real quick though, today was my day of atonement. I ain't do nothing all day, fasted, uh, yeah, prayed and studied uh, the scriptures. And so a lot of people don't know you read Leviticus 23rd chapter, it talk about all the feast days, and day of atonement is the one where you're supposed to sit aside and atone. It's a once a year thing. It's all the feast days are, but this is the one that tells you to afflict your soul. And I don't, it was, this is my third one observing. And it's always, you know what I'm saying, you feel some sort of growth. You feel like you get closer to the most high, and that's the goal. So, I, I, this is our first show back in a month. I was going to get a kicking back last week, but I said I don't want to start and then take this one off. So, I said I'm just going to wait till after atonement. And here we are. Back with a, a special guest, as I said. Well, what you been up to, man? Man, just. Uh... Just really just trying to grow my online audience, man. So it's, it's uh, you know, ever since the whole pandemic and thing, you know, uh, I'm kind of uh, trained to see trends. So, you know, I'm working on uh, my online audience. And uh, then when we get back out here in this real world popping, man, you know, I'll be able to... Uh, you know, direct traffic is kind of sort of the thing, man. Yeah. I've seen you cooking. I've seen you cook. I think that out of all the people I follow on Instagram, I think that you've been the most consistent in your marketing. I think like every, every, every morning I wake up, I know I'm going to see some Ramaside action. Doing something, huh? Yeah, I, like every time, man, and and that's cool. It's refreshing, and the way you reach out, like you, you want to be able to take advantage of it. I well, I do, but I, but I try to I try to give, you know, get a game away for free too, man. When I learn something, man, I don't mind sharing it with other people. Some of it is music related. Some of it is just general business practices. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to share, man. I, I want everybody to grow. I feel like it's enough money out there for all of us to, you know, get our get our feel, man. So I don't mind sharing the information, man, or the motivation. And uh, I don't know if you saw like the other day, man. I had posted. Uh, I tell people, man, that I get discouraged too sometimes, man. Sometimes I get frustrated, man, because I don't. I'm not where I I want to be. But but when I do get discouraged, like just some random lady, man, sent me a picture and all it was was her, uh, she had took a picture of her radio and she was listening to one of my songs and she sent that to me. She didn't know that I was kind of feeling down that day, but she just sent it to me uh, in my DM and I was just like, that's crazy. Like, this is just what I needed today, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I was really feeling down and shit, man. So I, I just, you know, I, man, I'm telling you, man, I, I try where, to be optimistic. When you said that you don't feel like you, where you would like to be, where exactly would you like to be right now? Man, I, I well, I would definitely like to be, um, you know, have a bigger audience than, than, than what I have right now, but... Um, but I'm growing every day, you know, every day I'm reaching out to, I meet new people, um, and I just try to, you know, rock with the people that rock with me and find more people like them, man. Since this, uh, and I'll get exactly where you're coming from, but since this pandemic been going on, what's, I mean, you say you stay ahead of trends. When I hear that, I think about people who, like they go to disaster areas, like right after, uh, <laughs> like after a tornado. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess I just um. Well, I I just have a business a business mind. Like uh, you know, I I'm just thinking business twenty four seven, and I'm thinking of uh 
how can I make uh, the most of, uh, you know, what hand I've been dealt right now as far as the pandemic. So I knew that, you know, now it, it kind of leveled the playing field for, I feel like, for in, us independent rappers and some of the guys that are heavy in the industry because they ain't torn. They begging for money. They trying to hustle independent artists like crap. Yeah, I, man, I, man, I, I, had, I hate man. to name drop, man, but I, I like four, five of these niggas reach out to me. We'll drop to get, their motherfucking name. Trying to get five or six <laughs> more. Trying to hustle you. <laughs> trying to hustle me. The <laughs> game, Jada Kiss, Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the he, he got his little cutting the song. They got him for like five or six. Oh, uh, yeah. He got him for what? He got him on one of his tracks. He cut him a song on one of his yeah, you can, but my thing is, uh, man, I ain't know that shit. I don't know yeah. where, I don't know how they're gonna put this music out. If they're just gonna put it on like that piff or, or you didn't put that shit in the car and play it in the well, car. That's my thing. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like if I got five or six hundred dollars, you know, to to go toward marketing, I'd, I'd almost rather spend it on like Facebook and Instagram ads. I feel like that the people that discover me or my music will be genuinely yeah yeah they like care I ain't cheap. About, yeah care yeah. about what I what what I put out there That's what, what rather mean. than you know I me know. trying to force yeah, feed man. another artist's fans you know what I'm saying and then like I said I don't know if he's going to do what he say he's going to do I have very little faith in people man when you get screwed over so many times throughout in life man you lose faith in people yeah, sometimes, yeah. man. Yeah. It's tough, though, for these people because the, the game is the game. And we, and we got to choose how we want to play the game, if we're going to play the game, how they set it up or whatever. So I've been, I've been, I've been, turning, you up, I've been turning the wrong mic up for you all night, man. Oh, hey, am I talking wrong? Right? No, you talking right. Oh. I ain't had the right mic up. But... We got to choose how we want to play the game, whatever. And what I mean by that is because I was just going to critique Jadakus in the context of, like, this how, this how fucked up it be, man. We, we, we follow the blueprint of the Gentiles, of, of the people who oppressed us. We follow their their business uh, practices where it get disrespectful. Um, you can go to a puppy where he was this whole year telling people don't, let the music industry fuck you over on your own masters and shit. And Mace look at him like, nigga, you got my masters. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, in that same sense, Jake gets in locks. Everybody remember the Free Locks campaign in the uh, early mm -hmm. 2000s, late mm -hmm. 90s, where he was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was mad. Where yeah. He was upset how Puffy, the contracts they signed. Mm -hmm. So, you would turn around and steal. Get somebody who don't even have as much as you had at that point they and still, take advantage of their fucking thirst. Their they, desire to they, be where you they at. Still doing it's crazy. It now, and that's that's why I keep dropping that one line is, um, you know, I feel like now is a, a better time to be an independent artist. But you have to either one, have a team that you can trust or two, learn as much as you can fucking learn. You got to learn, man. Because when you put your life in other people's hands or your livelihood in other people's hands, I mean, you just don't know who going to fuck you over. I've heard that story so man, many I, times. Man, yeah, oh, yeah, you watched that uh, Mike Jones interview? That what? Mike Jones. Uh-uh. He's no. talking about he been paying them back taxes all, the, all these years. He been paying what, back taxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like how just like, man, he owes so much fucking money, man. Lot but it was like, man, like you said, motherfuckers don't know. When you got motherfuckers charging shit off in your name, yeah, you yeah, man. You don't even know. You, you, and it's like, motherfucker hit you like, yeah, this, you, this, 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 this ain't been paid in so long. You gotta learn, man. man. If that shit, some of that shit is just, some of that shit is high interest loans. When you sign that record deal or whatever, man, that's like a high interest loan. Man, they want theirs back and then some, man. And, and so I, you know, I'd advise anybody, man, just, Go to the library, man. Well, in this day and age, man, just Google, Google YouTube, yeah. man, and, and learn what you need to learn, man. And just, you know, that way when somebody's talking that shit, man, you, you can, you know, you know if they solid or not, man.
you know, when you get out the situation. That's just what, man, I feel like one of my biggest obstacles, man, is, uh, you know, just dodging, you know, scammers and, you yeah. know, motherfuckers. Yeah. You know, try, they, uh, man, I'm telling you, man, independent artists, man, are prey. I don't, <laughs> man, they are prey. Man, I can't tell you how many inboxes I get from motherfuckers talking about, I can do this for you, I can do this. Man, get the fuck out of here. Listen, you can't even comment on a, you can't even post a decent stat without somebody saying, oh, I like your content, hit me up if you want some artwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 I don't know if the, who the worst, the graphic designers or the, I can get you verified, motherfucker. Nigga, you ain't even verified. You, you ain't verified, you got 100 followers, you follow 500 people, you can hustle. Man, Instagram, yeah. see that shit, nigga? We both shut down. We yeah. done on here. We on Snapchat now, nigga. Hey, we yeah. done. So hey, man. Man, but you know it's a numbers game, kind of like door to door sale, man. I bet you they get a motherfucker every once in a while. Come on, man. You do that shit one out of a hundred motherfuckers. You do it a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? But I think a lot of times, man, they be motherfuckers, man. I hate to say it, man. I don't want to sound, you know, racist or nothing. But a lot of times, man, they be like Middle Eastern motherfuckers, man. Them Indian oh, guys. Right, Nigeria. Yeah, it was them too. Listen, listen. listen. They, listen. When you can walk down a mountain from Hiroshima or the Himalayas and come here to a gas station and sell Swisher Sweets, I respect your hustle. <laughs> yeah, that's, what they, that's what they do, man. They prey on, you know what I'm saying, on our communities and stuff. You know what I'm saying? What it is, oh. if you're not, this is the thing. I was thinking about this earlier. I said, if this was back in the time when you first started rapping in the 90s, mm -hmm. this would be empty. What would be? The rap game. It'd be empty. Oh, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. I mean, because it's, it's not, the reason why they can sell, uh, for one, people buy pages where they buy followers. Mm-hmm. I you see somebody with 90,000 followers and six likes on a post. Yeah, yeah. But what it is, they, they have buy these followers. They'll try to get verified for free. They'll do whatever. Because like you said earlier. Real people. quick, real quick, to the point I'm making is they don't have a work ethic. So if you can't just hop on YouTube and just start rapping or you just can't throw some shit on, they won't do it if it's not easy. They won't grind for it. So that's when it'll fuck with somebody like you, who you like, shit, I've been doing this, I've been working, 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 and then you motherfuckers just, y'all don't even love hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things yeah. like that, like these yeah. motherfuckers don't even love the game and shit, so that's what would frustrate me. Yeah. But what was you gonna say? Right. What's that you? I see, they talking on the mic and just they're hearing shit else they hear. Like, hear yeah, see, it's silly shit. shit. Yeah. I'm popping that button in there, but she's so oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, bro, what I just do me, yeah. man. I got an album, got some perks that's in my pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it just, like I said, I don't know if we talked about that last time. It, it amazes me because, like, when when I was really coming up, man, it was uh, you know, people that did drugs kind of hid the shit. Now you was a like, to be a junkie. Now it's you so trendy. It amazes me hey, how man. it's not a. Uh, how it's so trendy, man, to be a sting now, man. It's like being, I mean, the whole... It's cool to park, 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 it, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. The, the thing is, though, Please. junkies still get shamed. Like, it's still a, a small demographic where it's not lauded on TV. Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, but the flip side. Yeah, strippers. You Remember you didn't know who a stripper was? Remember back in the day, you knew like one and a half strippers, like the half was the one you weren't sure of. Yeah, when you went, you probably ain't that motherfucker. You, hey, it's the show. Stop that shit, call her over here. Oh, take off her name. Lie, say she going to college. Uh, now, know what now it's popular to be a stripper, yeah. and even more so, it's popular to be a hoe. Hey, the pictures we used to have to yeah. ask for, you feel me? Yeah, on everything, Come man. On, man. Listen, it's, 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 the value don't went down. That's why I want to subscribe to a motherfucker only fans. God, I'm gonna buy it's so, on, it's, I can see so much for free, my lady. It's only so much for free, and I'm all Hey, like, you know what? Only fans is a, it's a couple, hustle. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a couple, it's a couple bitches that was like, I wonder what she looking like, nigga. Damn, this one gonna cost me two dollars. Yeah, yeah, two dollars. Fuck it, let me see real quick. <laughs> Man, I subscribe. 
Some of them get that shit crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah, 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 but 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 like he said, you know, if it, where the value is for them is is if you got you know four or five thousand motherfuckers that actually do give you that two or three dollars a month, then you got a nice little monthly income. I think it's, well, I think it's a hell of a hustle, man. I'm like, it's a hustle that you can get motherfuckers to pay for this shit. Uh, I don't understand that. You know, porn has been free since we got yeah, on the internet. the same motherfuckers that jump up under the Facebook post talking about, thank you, beautiful, for accepting my friend request. I mean, them the same Sir, she's people. Not beautiful, that is a fucking <laughs> slut. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the same people, yeah. though, man. Yeah, it, I mean, I guess, man, depends on what, what people put value in. I'm just older. I'm. I need more than that. You know what I mean. I need a little conversation. <laughs> so, and a lot of times, man, they open their mouth and I'm turned off immediately. I don't know for what. And that would be ninety percent. That's ninety percent. That's ninety percent because man. the thing is, they. It, look, we said the rap game got easy. Look at look at who they talk like. Look who they who they figures are. You feel me? Like the, if you like some women, majority of them who they talk about. You feel me? Like. Like, who is it? They role models. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they role models. And like, there's always a new one. It's always like somebody. <laughs> but, but when I said that, it's, e like, it's easy for people to get in the rap game, it's easy for hoes to become famous. Like, and this, and it, it used to be easy. It used to be respectable. It used to be pretty bitches get famous for nothing. Now ugly bitches get famous, fat bitches get famous. Yeah. Bitches get famous. Yeah. This yeah. shit's out of control. The game is diluted. It's watered down. Yeah. You can sit up here. Yeah, but I'm but do anything too. Ninety, ninety percent. And I, of course, I'm just throwing numbers out, but it's a high percentage of women who live in poverty, but who oh. get on social media and talk like they got every fucking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. 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 This is yeah. So yeah. And and, 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 and they do it with drug, confidence, you know what I'm saying? Drug, man. And and it's crazy because if you be like, no, nah, bitch, I see that roach on your last video. Why you hating you roach shaming? You know what I'm saying? They say something like that. Fuck her out there somewhere she feel like she ain't supposed to be. So it is, man. Everybody like kind of like what Yo Gotti said. What ain't no more regular people no more, man. No, <laughs> that's how they act, man. Like everybody is star. We had a discussion. We won't go in names, but we was outside uh, unsuccessful. You looking for my wallet? I lost my wallet, man. I was just digging through the trash. Yeah, I did yeah. two trash bags for my wallet yeah. too. And three children came over there and stood and watched. They did. I don't believe he, them. You grab, look, grab, get this bag out there. He, he looked up like, what they doing? I'm like, they just. It made me nervous, man, because when I was a child, I'd be scared to come over to see two niggas yeah, digging in the trash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my kids wouldn't be outside. It's nighttime. On Healy's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, what was I going on? I lost my train. Oh, we like we talk about how people stun on you. Like I had reached out. I don't give a shit. I ain't got no relationship. I had reached out to um the girl Paris people and stuff for an interview or whatever. Oh, for her to come on about two me. years ago, they referred me to her manager. I'm like, what is she going to the Grammys or something? You know what I'm saying? Why is she that busy? And I was like, man, come on, man. it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. you know. People, um, especially a, a lot of independent artists, man, they have a, a little bit of success, man. And, uh, you know, even if it's just in their hometown or their region, man, and then they get the big head and think that they popping all over. And uh, one thing that uh, I learned is that even when you, let's say, even if you get uh, signed with Universal or one of these bigger companies, that's not where you take a break like, yeah, I made it. No, nigga, that's where you kick in to full drive like now it's time to really work and get this real money. So, you know, especially for up-and-coming artists, man, you here's the thing about you, and, and we go back and forth with this all the time, but every time I see you, I say the same thing. I don't understand why you don't charge. The reason why you don't charge is because you like showing love and you enjoy, you and you love the game, you know? But I feel like, you know, any artist or business owner, it, you are nothing without press. You can't go to Fox 59 and they gonna interview you for free. That shit costs money, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, and I'm gonna be honest, man. I feel like I got a platform where 
it's not just like it's it's a good platform. Mm-hmm. It is. You, don't get me wrong. You be controversial a lot of times. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be looking at them posts like, mm. nah, nah, nah. But 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 I like it because yeah. you, you real, and I, I know what to expect. You know what I mean? Like I know that I'm gonna get the raw, uncut version of how you feel. And that, that's what I really like it. And I like it when I come on here and when other people come on here, they can they can speak their mind freely, man. It ain't scripted. Real quick, what do you what do you define as controversial? Is would you just just let me preface it, would you say something that's just against the grain? Yeah. Okay. Things that, that that are just different. Because some people think that if you controversial, you wrong. Well, no, 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 yeah. no, no. I wasn't saying that you saying that. I wasn't saying that. I've, that I've learned. I, I've been wrong a lot, and because I was wrong, I learned. Yeah. You know, so you know, definitely, I've learned a, a lot of things that, uh, you know, that I thought. Let's say, for example, when I was growing up, I mean, I thought one way, and then when I got older, I realized, damn, I didn't know shit. That's how it be, though. You know what I'm saying? That's but I maturity. learned, and I just. Accepted that I learned something and I don't mind learning from somebody else neither. You know what I'm saying? That's maturity, but that's one that's the biggest turn off for me with social media interacting with like people and stuff. It's because the, they, they so programmed and they all tuned in on the same frequency, and the frequency is soft as fuck. Like the dudes, man, listen. Like you said, if we had to go up and talk to these motherfuckers like in person yeah. and approach them in person and shit, they yeah. wouldn't know how to. Socially, a lot of them probably couldn't even that. talk. They yeah. wouldn't know how, yeah. how, how, how to scream. It's how way too much security. Yeah. Like, all I say, yeah, man, it's too, like, it's too much parody on the internet. Yeah. I always say that, man. It's everybody is on the same shit. They agree with the same shit. The dudes is ultra fucking soft. Like, I've never seen. <laughs> like, listen, man. I've never seen yeah. so many motherfucking. It ain't like these niggas ain't your tomboys. <laughs> they they softer than tough girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's weird, man. But it's even like I'm like I'm from this generation. I, I look at punk. Everybody, but this generation, like, hey, don't say that. Even yeah, the Rock said that this is a generation full of pussies, man. Yeah, it, it, it's mm-hmm. soft, man. Everything offends everybody. Man, that's the thing, like, it's just like. Man, like, just be a free thinker. You feel me? That's like, it. if you don't, if you don't, shit's not really. I mean, like, I say shit's not really controversial because, like, it's only controversial. Like, people are like, are scared, like you said, to go against the grain. They just scared of that tension, or they just scared of that, just like, or just to do something different. But it's just like, be a free thinker. You know what I mean? Like, that don't. A lot of things you don't have to agree with a lot of things you know what i mean it's it just is what it is you could be on this side you could be on that side and it don't necessarily got to be like oh this nigga You're right motherfuckers like, don't they don't think for themselves you know what i'm saying like like you said they they programmed man they probably left or right and i i i try like, my damnedest to like with the joe biden and trump yeah, yeah. My homeboy in town had posted something about like, like man, look, like, you know, whatever if it's gonna be, that's what I'm gonna do. Go go to work and do what I gotta do. Yeah. Man, then we sitting on here, he sitting on there, man, arguing, not with white folks, but black folks, yeah. about who's gonna who's gonna vote for the less race, like, like they was like, dude, literally, this he said, I'm gonna vote, <laughs> I'm gonna vote for a uh, dude because he's less racist than Trump is. I always say though, man, like I don't understand like picking your slave ass. I don't understand it, bro. <laughs> that's like, all that shit that's, is. That's, dude. that's the going back to what I was saying. Like motherfuckers, that's motherfuckers left is. or right in this world, bro. Like they left or they right. Like I gotta choose something. No, the fuck you don't. You ain't gotta do shit. You don't gotta do nothing. You feel me? But fucking wake up the next day and keep doing what the fuck you gotta do. You feel me? And like, we'll, really, everybody really got motherfucking purpose. We gonna talk more about the election shit when that shit come closer. Yeah. But what, what bothered me, man, is like every every year round, well, especially every four years, but every time around election, everybody turning to fucking political analysts, everybody be talking about them watching the debate. Up. I'm like, what for stupid? Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? You don't know shit going on nowhere. 24-7 all day, I see you following y'all say shit about this shit too. And that's part of the program. Like, it's like a rapper say, hey, go vote or else. And nigga look at you and say, do you hear what he said? He said, go vote or else. 
Or else. Or else what? Or ancestors. Yeah. Oh our ancestors God. did a lot of shit that you niggas not doing. You know, so our ancestors wasn't around being flimsy and faggoty. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that is what it is. Uh, let's get back to you and your. Uh, I'm gonna call it the quarantine grind. Like I said, you got your t-shirts out right on uh, Teespring now. Yeah, 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 man. I I, did, I elected to uh, go with Teespring. I, uh, I I'll probably be at Amazon uh, here within the next before the holidays come so i'll probably be on amazon so anybody i just suggest just google ramaside t-shirts man it'll pop up wherever they at man okay. but i use teespring for the simple fact that uh they take care of the printing and everything because uh you know sometimes man people order man from uh you know people be hitting me from england from you know from just all across the globe and you know i can't handle that shipping because I don't really get a lot of money. So, you know. Yeah, that's cool, though. That's so cool. it allows me to do that. And uh, and that's and, and that's where the, the whole song came in at. You ain't never hit me about the song, but I, I figured that's probably where you were going. So my latest single is called T-Shirts. And uh, it's uh, I, I don't have a video for it yet, man. I'm still looking for the right model. What? What? Man, I keep having them, man. What song was that called? That shit hard as fuck. Was it that song? Uh, nah, that was that, uh, 100. That motherfucker crazy. When, when I had the, uh, Mexican dog yeah, face, yeah, the yeah, one that yeah. just got popular. Yeah, I yeah. Think, I think my favorite song is that, uh, it's actually on the tape, I think. That motherfucker so hard. It's that, uh. <laughs> that was a t shirt period. Uh, uh, nah, it's on the. Is that it? Is that it? With yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. My God, who done it? Yeah, yeah. Man, shout out to who done it, man. That's one of them. Man, listen to that one. He said this shit called 100, though. Man, listen to that shit, man. Listen to that shit. Yeah, on 100, man. I snapped on that. That's when I first, uh, we had, he had first talked me back into it. He was like, man, come on, man. You need to start back, man. We need to get it back going and shit. And then I was like, he sent me that beat. I said, fuck it, man. Let's go. That, that's that, that's that, put your hoodie on. Yeah. Get, get, that's who ride shit. Man, sometimes. <laughs> that's that, that's that, 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 that shit take you back to the hardcore shit, I just, man. yeah, that's how I am, man. I, I, I just kind of write off of how I feel, man. Sometimes I be. Shout out to me for saying who ride I'm from California, but go ahead. Uh, go ahead. I said who ride like I'm from California. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who ride, bro. Who ride. But you right, though. I feel you, man. It's hoodie season now. Yeah. Yeah, that's but. what's up. Uh, you know, I just I write as man. he stretches in his hoodie. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, hoodie for hoodie season. Well, season right now. Well, I you know I got these two t-shirts I've been holding on for months and months and oh, months. Hell yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. But I just man, I just try to write off emotion, man. Whatever the hell I feel at the time, man. And I just write off of it, man. Sometimes I'm mad. When I'm mad, I write angry shit. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in a kind of player mood, I write that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's always real good, shit, though. though. Be able to create from all Because even the t-shirt song was truly, create. man, was actually about my significant other, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> she likes to uh, wear my t-shirts. I don't like for her to wear them because she put the little prints in them, you feel me? And I'm not, like, yeah, you feel me? And then I feel like when I put the shirt on, I feel like it might be sticking, you know, sticking out here too far. And so, but, 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 you know, and then we, you know, I was like horny. But I just, you know what I mean, man? I, she, she gonna like this when she listened to it though, man, and, you know. But uh, and uh, you know she was like dancing around in the t-shirt, and and then she, I was like, take it out, who who? I was like, nah, matter of fact, wait, 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 take wait, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do that dance, yeah, boy. Yeah. Bro, no, 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 it's all good. It's Y'all got good. me. It's all good. I lose some cool points for that. Hey, nah, you're gonna get a million more. Uh, <laughs> no, but hey, yeah. All, his only fans is up there. But she, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she, uh, so I told her, I, she was like, I was like, take it off. And then I was like, nah, matter of fact, take everything off except for that t shirt. And then in my mind, you know, I, I immediately grabbed my phone. <laughs> and, oh, right. You killed the booze. You killed the fucking booze with a rat. 
Hey, dude, that's all, I swear, yeah, that's how yeah, it yeah. happened. And then I was like, baby, hold up, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, man up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you doing? I ain't never <laughs> man up. You feel me? Oh, no, yeah, <laughs> you know. But that's how I came up with the song, man. And, and, and uh, you know, hopefully the song go, uh, you know, <laughs> help me continue to sell more T-shirts, man. Because yeah. I do feel like. You know, I'd like to, you know, see just more people in general in my T-shirt, man. I feel like once they know my story, man, they'll want to rock with me, man, and be like, this guy is, uh, you know, really started from the bottom and is just grinding and he's a good guy and he tries to help people. And, you know, I'm just hoping that, you know, people uh, hear my story and that shit will resonate with them, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you and then just to your point, I don't know who you feel this too. Well, like, where you be, you have a thought and like a, a quick, a quick line come to your head like, man, this shit gonna be hard. I'm gonna remember it, and then you'll never remember that shit again. Man. I do. Oh, what the oh, fuck man. was I gonna say, man? I, I was gonna say. I, always I swear, do. I was gonna say some hard shit. But I started using this motherfucking phone, man. I, 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 I hit that voice memo real quick. Oh, yeah, I started yeah. doing that shit too. What man. the voice memo? I use video. I just. Oh yeah, anything to because yeah, 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 yeah. sometimes yeah, I lose yeah. the way that I said it, and yep, then I try to say too. it again. I'm like, that's what it is too. Hey, how I fucking like, said it, man. Like, the creative process is a motherfucker, man. I do, I go in the studio thinking I'm about to record a song this way, and I come out and it's a whole nother motherfucking song. It still be cool, but it just wasn't what I was expecting to do when we, I go in there. We leave out. Do you like listen? Because when you leave out, you listen to the song for like a week. You like, I should, I mean, say it like this. I, mean, I always re record this shit. I never go re record it. I yeah. leave it alone, man. You know what? I, I just got into doing that. Just like, not somebody, record shit and just uh, to somebody told me uh, some stuff about trying to be a perfectionist uh, leads to kind of procrastination. So I just leave it alone. It, it, you know, I make mistakes in a lot of songs. Sometimes, you know, I don't think the audience catches it, but I know that I'd be like, damn, I fucked up. But, you know, I just leave it raw, man. That's the thing, man. That, like, I've just, I recorded a song with Tyron, right? I ain't yeah, playing right? shit. You got that one, right? But, like, when I recorded yeah. with her, the talker, I said, I'm just gonna record this. I said, but I'm gonna come back. I said, because I, I could hear myself me messing up. And, like, that's how I have to do it. Like, I have to listen and come back and do yeah, it. Yeah. Cause I can't like even somebody like this stuff. I'd be like, man, I fucked up right there. Like, it'll bother me, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Probably. Like that, that shit like that. Damn, it, it used to bother me. I, I just got to the point to where I'm just moving on. I, I move on to the next thing, man. Some songs I, I, I really kind of push out to get it out of my system so I can start doing some other shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'll be doing too. Like, I, was just, like, I, I need to get this out, get this shit recorded. Like I just finished, I did six tracks with Pac. I'm yeah. about to do this police. I'm about to release that motherfucker tonight, probably. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's shit called Gift Pack. And it's like six songs. It's cool. He packed it it's called what? Gift Pack. Uh, yeah. Hey, I wish I had got it organically yeah, the first yeah, time. Yeah. Hey, I was yeah. slipping. Uh, I was slipping. So what you Gift working pack, on? Man, uh, by pac man. The, to come out. the take number three? Yeah, you number ready to start that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, shoot, we might as well start. Yeah, it's right I want to get you something fall. fresh. Sure, yeah, man. I was just going to say that's that. That's what we need, though. Y'all want to get you right. something fresh we, we and need, raw, man, just for need, you, we man. All fresh, we need all fresh tracks, man. That would be like the best thing. That That's the only thing we fuck with this time. Yeah. It's, a, it's a process getting shit uploaded. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. It is. I'm surprised you didn't have a problem with this. We did. We did. That's my time. See, if I would have known, I didn't know where you were going. With it. Not your yeah. shit. Your shit didn't get no problem. Oh, it's cool. Your See, I thought you was gonna have a problem with that. The problem, yeah. the problem be like it's not already got it uploaded. Yeah, that's what. The, that's what but but you can with. still do that because a lot of uh, mainstream artists, you know, they cheat. You know, they re-release. They'll release five singles and then take those five singles and then put two more with it and then they got an EP and it makes them look like they had more yeah, sales yeah, and streams. Right. They they do. Yeah, it. I just, they thought, I just, like a I just started peeping. Oh, I was all kind of. I just started of, peeping that actually. Uh, I was all kind of slick. Wayne just released no ceilings. Oh yeah, I yeah. Drake, Drake but, but I don't think no ceilings was ever really Drake, Drake did that. in care, sales. Care package. Jake did care package though, but that was like. It was like singles from all this old shit. Oh, like, yeah. It was like a collage of all this shit, kind of. 
which was like cool. I like, got a bunch of old shit. shit that I probably should release. That's though. cool. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like for your fans, like you got some shit like I like this, 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 this from this project is actually pretty nice. I just want to like, just creative. give it, just put it out there because a lot of times, man, I bump into people, man, they think I just started rapping and shit. I'm like, still like <laughs> that results from uh, broke up. Yeah, I still be thinking yeah. about that every day. I was thinking about that during the. Uh, Atonement. Did you know I had your guy do the do the mixtape for me? Yeah, DJ uh, T Rex. No. Nah. Oh yeah, he did that tape, right? You didn't know it? Hell no, I ain't heard it. I ain't oh, heard man. It. Where's that? It's on uh, the whole tape. He did a whole tape. He did a whole tape for me, man. Mm -hmm. It was all my all me and low yeah, music. Yeah, yeah all Ramaside boy. He mixed it up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to get it get it to you, man. Where's that? Is it on his? Uh, man, it's on a uh, it's on a uh, mix cloud. Okay. okay. I I don't got no physical ones. It's on mix cloud. Yeah, if you yeah, search yeah. Ramaside, I'll shoot you the link, man. Yeah, man, it's called Ramaside and Chill, man. He got part two and uh. Then, I don't know if y'all know DJ Money, but DJ Money from like 40 do <laughs> plus love. I mean, do that besides the DJ nah, Money. Yeah, 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 it's all good, yeah. man. Money, money solid, man. But uh, T Rex was solid too, man. But T Rex just came out real nice, man. Real yeah. nice, bro. Everybody love that motherfucker, man. Yeah, that motherfucker. Uh, well, you said it was two different ones. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I dropped uh, two different ones. Oh, we on camera. Let me sneak off the camera real quick. <laughs> Cause I got something I want to show you that you ain't seen. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So we dropped uh, the the Ramasad and Chill mixtapes. Cause that was another part of my like quarantine grind. I feel like everybody is at home listening to their music, watching Netflix or whatever. They just consuming content. Yeah. So I just wanted to do my part. You know what I'm saying? And just give you something to vibe to, man. So I. I drop Rhyme Side and Chill round one, Rhyme Side and Chill round two, you know what I mean? And they just mixtapes from two different DJs. They the blended mixtapes, you know what I mean? Oh, that's right, that's all, that's all. Yup, and then, uh, so I also, you know, for the fellas, man, I done uh, got the Rhyme Side and Chill condoms on deck too. Yeah, right. Boy, I promise you, I'm about to. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Everybody like, nigga, you got condoms? <laughs> come on. So, hey, you got, oh, hey, come on, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to give you the whole, chill, I'm trying to give you the whole date night experience, you feel me? You can see, when y'all motherfucking spin that tape, right? You feel me? You can go on here and knock tape. your little boot thing off. These are definitely for people fresh out of high school and white boys. Oh, what, the small boy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, that, uh, you know, I wasn't going, you know, going for size or nothing. Hey, hey they, 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 this is dope, nigga. That's all I've been they, they, they was just a marketing strategy. And they then, like, I be asking the people on Facebook every so often, I be like, I wonder how many, uh, uh, niggas done pulled these out on a girl and a girl done looked at it and thought, <laughs> I know where I'm aside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the pulled these motherfuckers oh, out and yeah. knocked them, get to tearing it off. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, but it's just my little part of my little marketing campaign. Then I had the stickers. We would flood the streets with the stickers in Broad mm -hmm. Ripple, man. Nah, it's nah, just nah, a, nah. you know, whatever I can do, man, to, uh, to, for one, to keep you entertained, and then for two to just, you know, keep you talking about Ramaside, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I like I said, I set a marketing budget. I have a hundred dollars a month marketing budget. And with that hundred dollars, I use it various different ways, man. Sometimes I buy flyers and shit. Sometimes I run Instagram and Facebook ads, but I use that hundred dollars every month just like a bill to grow. Yeah. And it keeps me from like spending unnecessarily, you feel me? Oh, yeah. So I ain't just, you know, because sometimes I be wanting to spend recklessly and I be like, Damn. Reckless Ramasad. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm outside my budget, you know what I mean? So I stay within my budget. That way I can still, you know, live my normal life with my family and then, uh, you know, my music life, you know. Because right now, to be honest, you know, I pay money out more money out than what i get in but i love it so i don't mind it so especially people don't understand that's how <laughs> all all victories come to fruition yeah. victories start off uh so supposedly losing yeah you know what i'm saying 
Like, matter of fact, I can use this for a good uh, boxing analogy with Juvie. Sometimes he gotta lose weight to win. You know what I'm saying? He gotta right. cut weight and stuff, lose the yeah. weight and shit just yeah. so he can get in there and compete and win. Yeah. That's dope as hell though, man. Yeah. That's cool that you got that budget, man. People don't understand how important it is. Two things to budget and then, and another thing to market. Yeah. To market yourself, man, people underrate. That's where me and shout out yeah, to Corey, yeah. man. That's where me and Corey used to fucking bump heads at. He used yeah. to have me so fucking heated because he didn't understand, man, that you don't just hop on here and win, nigga. You yeah. got to have your commercials and not yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, too many commercials on TV, whatever. But just, just like that. yeah, you got to create the visibility, man. You got to always be in somebody's face. That's why I say when I wake up, I know I'm going to see you. Ramasaw, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Bullshit you down first on my timeline. Like, it's expected, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they, some people wake up, they see the Fox News and shit. I wake up and see Ramasaw. Yeah, 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 throwing yeah, condoms out. I get up early, man. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's yeah. the thing. I am an early bird, man. I get up early, man, and I try to... Uh... I've been so early that I woke up that early. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, got yeah, yeah. so I woke up so early, I woke up that early bird. Except for no so early, I woke up that early bird. Yeah, hey, that's early, boy. Yeah. I do, man. I get up early in the morning, man. It allows me to think, man, when my mind is clear, man. And I get up early and be miserable as fuck. Hear you? See, well, some people in the morning. I'm going to work. Oh. Sometimes. I'm going to work. Well, I usually get, get up me, and, yeah. and I got a little deck. <laughs> and my yeah, deck is my little happy space, man. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I be doing my little videos at this little privacy fence. Ain't no motherfucker fucking with me. It be me and a little rabbit that live in my backyard. You know, he be looking. What's his name? I ain't gave him no name. Man. <laughs> yeah, 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 but that motherfucker yeah. was a baby. That motherfucker a big yeah, man. Yeah, man. Still live under the deck. Yeah, man, that man, that motherfucker still live under the deck, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I charge you. <laughs> Charlie, all right, man. Yeah, man, you got this is man. man, my neighborhood is infested with rabbits, but this the same one because he got a little, got a little white dot on him. This motherfucker, he been back up for months, man. That motherfucker was a baby, baby. The fuck you, you ain't scared of it? Nah, nah. If he charged that you, would you be scared of it? I would be, but <laughs> I think he's more scared of me. I think I would be more scared of like it having rabies. <laughs> But it don't, I don't know where you get rabies from, though. I don't know. I just, yeah. But I'm hey, telling you, look. The, the, treat me like a nigga. The, the <laughs> rabbit, I got a, a motherfucking stray cat that be coming through sometimes. Uh, the squirrel, he don't even, the squirrel don't even give a fuck about me no more. He don't run from me or nothing. <laughs> Gang squirrel scary as shit, nigga. Hey, they yeah. scary, what, scary, they're scary, scary, nah, them oh. niggas are, them niggas are rushing. Yeah, they're <laughs> rushing on everything, them motherfuckers are testing. I'll tell you, my little back, y'all little nature reserve, man, motherfucker. That's what's up, you back here and shit being a jungle boy. Uh, <laughs> man, <I laughs> you, just, ain't got no, you ain't got no being type raps, no. Nah, nah. Jackson nah. Hey, we, gotta, nah. we gotta do something though, man. Man, we what definitely can, dude. Right. You definitely can, man, whenever, man. I'm always eager, man. Yeah. And I, I write fast too, man. I do, too. do you? I write quick, man. I, can't write fast. I don't like to write at the studio just because I don't like have my own studio. But you know, if it's I, uncomfortable. Alright, because your your flow. You don't feel your flow be dumbass conflict. Like, man, it <laughs> still be hit me to this yeah. week. Like I'm like, damn, this nigga said that. What? Oh, um, yeah. You, know, you write like, on the spot. No, no, no. Like he, like you know, yeah. like he's a real complex writer. Oh, okay. That's what I'm like, man, this is shit. It's hard for me to write around people because I feel rushed. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I gotta be done when you done. I gotta be ready when you ready and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. That's how I come on like being in the studio, right? Uh, I don't like recording yeah. around a lot of people. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't. Me, me either, really. You know? Yeah. Either, really. I typically don't, man. When I go to record, man, it's usually me and whoever that's whoever the song is with. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just go in there, go to work. And the engineer always be like, boy. Because all the energy got to be right. And if it ain't, then you want to be on your own energy type. I'll be on some incense and the candle yeah. shit, nigga. I'll be, I'll yeah. be on my Erykah Badu yeah. shit, nigga. Yeah. I'll be relaxed, nigga. Yeah, you do, bro. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, man. Yeah. So, yeah. And because yeah. I don't yeah. drink, smoke, or nothing, nigga. So my natural yeah. nerves and shit just going to be wherever they are. Hell yeah. Hell I almost yeah. asked Illy for a cigarette Sunday when yeah. I do the nigga. Give me a cigarette. <laughs> I want some of my two plus. Give me a cigarette, dog. Yeah. I want to see what you got. A oh, cigarette, huh? <laughs> if you don't smoke, oh, yeah. Woozy. Yeah. 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 They're embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> They're embarrassed. <laughs> Is it hot in here, y'all? <laughs> 
What's your brother been up to though? You say you got a video coming up? Yeah, Shout out to Lowe. I've been checking him out. I, his content be here. My uh, timeline was more than yours though. Do it. it just, I don't know, yeah. man, how that happened. because we old. Why because we old? They done put us at the geographic. Hey, man. Have you watched that new series on Netflix? About the algorithms and all that? Yeah, yeah. Did you watch that? I watched the it's, it's pretty interesting, oh, man. man. I, a lot of this it, I, world is fucking. Weird, a lot of man. it I really understood because I work in marketing. But uh, if you don't, you know, have a business, it's it's scary. Yeah. You know? If you're just a regular person, it's scary how scary much. As hell, man. True story. Earlier today, my significant other was like, uh, "I think I'm about to take a nap." Her fucking Google suggested listening to. Uh, songs <coughs> that this was like right after suggested listening to songs yeah, that help you sleep they got scary technology you feel me so i mean yeah they definitely always listen but it's a, it's a good checkout especially for y'all you know what i'm saying yeah. knowing how y'all think man if you what see, is it called uh, i know what you're talking about i just can't remember what it's called what is that? something about uh so it's social oh, yeah, something it's, I mean, it social, like, is it the social network some, some, no not the social network this is on the front screen man it's probably like the number it's in the top 10 movies in the country right now on netflix though but that yeah, motherfucker, like the yeah, yeah, it's interesting. They talk about like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. The social dilemma. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that's it's a true. must watch. You be like, yeah. what is shit you already knew, but just hearing it from people that work at these companies, you'd be like, God damn. Because some of them were leaving the companies because they felt like it was unethical. Yeah. They was like, man, that shit ain't cool. Yeah. That's why they said they're leaving. Yeah, some of them, you know, did you know, uh, was like, man, this is not cool, man. This is borderline invasion of privacy, you know, because yeah. you know, even when you see the stupid little memes, like, what year did you graduate high school? Like, I might have shared the meme, but I'm not the source of the meme. That meme is probably put out there by somebody else. And it, you know, it's fishing. It's just collecting information. They're just trying to oh, find out I how see. they can market, how they can advertise to you. Because if I know what year you graduated high school, you know what else that allows me to know things that you like. Well, what's your birthday? Huh? When your birthday? It was just uh, last Sunday, so the fourth. I'm yeah. a Libra. Yo, you ain't you a man. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Uh, Happy belated birthday, uh, man. Shit, man. You're talking about Libra season? Well, I don't know if no, motherfuckers, you know, motherfuckers being, uh, you know, into yeah. the Zodiacs. I don't know who is and not. Yeah, no, I'm no. not, like, heavy into it, yeah. but yeah. I am. Yeah. I thought... You believe, in, you believe in Zodiacs? I don't know a lot about it, man. Yeah. But I, I know I'm you. a Libra. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, so I I just assumed that that's why you asked me. You was about to make nah, some astrology. Hell no. Hey, most always they bust a nigga in their head with that thing like that. Astrology, oh. she gets stoned for that movie oh. shit. <laughs> Wait, hey, hey, stoned to death, huh? Yeah, no, because that shit come from the fallen angels, though. That's, uh. where that, that's where that shit came from, teaching them how to read the stars, whatever. But look, though, the reason why I ask is because have you ever seen that shit that pop up? And it'd be like, real men are born in October. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Ain't that yeah. shit crazy? It'd be on your timeline. Like, my shit be like, real men are born in June. Like, That's your birthday? Yeah. 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 Well, because you, you either you gave them your birthday or at one point in time you commented on something. Right now, yeah. you feel like all my information is out there. So, yeah. whatever the fuck they going to get, they going to get. You feel me? Like, it is, is, but it's still. It's, it, damn. Uh, you know, I'm just like, fuck. It's you know, out there, man. You just got to deep. Yeah, we walk deep, around with deep, these deep. tracking devices every day. In our phone. Yeah, 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 this is, time, yeah, bro. yeah. Can't live without that motherfucker. You feel me? You know? So that's why it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm a regular ass citizen. I still work every day. Right. I go to work every day. Whatever. Fuck y'all want to track. You do it. Listen, on everything. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit don't scare me because I'm not over here on no espionage. I'm mm -hmm. not about to blow some shit up. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm on no weird ass. shit. I want to track my regular ass. Your everyday activity, you go right the fuck ahead. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, y'all don't give a fuck. And then my ass, I just start paying with Apple Pay, so now they really know how I shop. Right? <laughs> Man. Damn. Damn. It is what it is. So, I mean, <laughs> we can't. I mean, no, because we, it's just, it's just, just go off the grid and get you yeah. a flip phone and, <laughs> and, 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 and watch rabbits in your grid. backyard all day. <laughs> and squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say your brother was up to, though? Nah, Loka. Well, Loka got 
some uh, music videos coming out. He uh, actually shooting one this Sunday, man. It's gonna be at the uh, Fuquay Institute here in uh, Indianapolis. So uh, I'm sure he would like it if you guys pulled up on him or hit him on the gram or on Facebook or whatever. Man. It's uh, this Sunday. I don't know the exact time. I had to find that out, man. But he told me to tell y'all though. I'm definitely gonna fuck with you. What time you said he gonna let you know the time? I I get the information. Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. This he told me this. Do I gotta Sunday. have a pistol in the video? <laughs> nah, nah. What I gotta do? You know we don't. I'm not a cool motherfucker. I don't know what to do about it. I'll be in that motherfucker just like this and shit. Nah, I don't got no cool stain. Nah, we ain't got. Nah, we don't, man. You know we don't shoot them kind nah, of videos. Nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I would. I, I man. I would hate to be the cameraman. <laughs> you been the cameraman, Juvie? Y'all been one, but now for niggas. You niggas, man. Sometimes you niggas be having. Hey, boy, I see some of it. Nah, yeah, nah, man. I told yeah. you, man. Our videos usually have, uh, you know, a little storyline behind them. Yeah, yeah, listen, that's what we cover. That air, nigga, where yeah. it's a mini movie type shit. Yeah, they yeah. never gonna be that 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 type of video. Yeah, they just yeah, ain't yeah. what we do, you know. Not knocking nobody else. They just ain't our thing, man. But yeah, man, low man, you just been chilling out, man, with your family, man, just laying low, man. And uh, I talk to him, man, probably once a once a week, sometimes twice a week, man. Shout out to Loke, man. I'm definitely uh, I ain't got nothing to do, son. I'm gonna pull up here, man. I'm telling you, man, he'd be so happy, man. It's like sometimes, man, when when you shooting them videos, man, you know. Um, Man, people say, man, people don't do what they say they're going to do. Not saying you, but I'm saying, you know, people that you have booked. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, they're supposed to come through and play a role or whatever. And, uh, you know. I know that's frustrating. That shit is very frustrating. That's the whole yeah. thing of the music video. That's why I be like, man, look, I ain't making a money off this motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want like, You, you got to, you like you damn near got to pay motherfuckers. Do even exactly when you, you do mean, offer even, some even, money, even then, it's like, it's like, what's the weather supposed to be like? I'm gonna have my girl come out there in her booty shorts. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if it's that type of video. I'm just talking. I don't shit, know which, which song he's shooting. I'm over to, projecting and shit. But I just want—I want to give a shout out to this one cat man that I met. Uh, he's a videographer too, man. His name is Shots Fired, man. He's supposed to shoot that. Uh, the t-shirt video, man. He's in Atlanta right now, but he on his way back here, I need man. I need my camera shit, man. Boy, coat. Yeah, you should, man. I saw some of your videos, too, yeah. man. Yeah, he definitely do code with that green screen and everything, man. So I just like to shout I, out people. I've been trying to get the skits going that we always been talking about doing. Just because they don't get the vibes and green shit. screen down recently. Yeah. I ain't do I ain't yeah, do shit. I just put, I just put it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just get ready. That kind of shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, you guys you shoot the video for a uh, t-shirt? Yeah, something? yeah. That's my main. Uh, that's my main focus right now. Shooting the video for t-shirt, and I'm working on trying to set up a, a, a virtual Ramaside party. You know what I'm saying? An online concert, man. And um, you know, I'm just trying to figure out which platform I want to go with. You talking like far like Zoom or something? No, we yeah, well kind of sort of yeah. like Zoom. I probably won't use Zoom. I either use um, uh, Facebook Live, Facebook Live, Instagram oh, Live. Yeah, 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 but it's yeah. several different uh, different uh, streaming platforms that you can sell tickets for. You know, two dollars. You know, just kind of yeah. sort of. You know, just for my time and stuff yeah. like that, so the fans can. Get I treated. was on your uh, live you had with the chick. Shout out to chick. Was she at Atlanta? Oh, oh yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, Tampa. Tampa. She definitely, man. Did you hear me shout you out? Yeah, I, yeah. I'll yeah, you yeah. Out. yeah. Well, um, like live only go for an hour on Instagram. Yeah, I think after an hour right. they cut you. They cut you off. I cut you short. Yeah, I think that's hey, how man, that works on uh, Instagram. But um. I don't know, man. It seemed like they let that versus go for a long time, but yeah, that's, that's big money, huh? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> it seemed like Patty that was on there. I was like, God damn, I'm sleepy. Hey, oh, I, I, I haven't watched the single versus. I haven't right? either. I but I watched that. I watched the clips. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the clips hey, are listen, crazy. Listen, listen, hold on, man. Listen, listen. The listen, clips man. are hilarious, man. Let me Jeez. say this. We from the 90s, as far as our music. Yeah. Wow. In 1998, 
I never thought I'd see a fat DMX on here rapping and shit all beat dancing, nigga. Oh, <laughs> DMX look lousy. Yeah. I'm happy, but a uh, uh, lousy looking DMX is a happy and healthy DMX. Yes, right. So I'll say lousy from a standpoint of like the DMX I'm used to seeing chiseled right. up and stuff. Now he like, man, he looks so fucking happy out there. He's you know what I'm saying? Wild man. And yeah, man. man. So it's, it's, that's, that was some cool shit to see, man. I yeah, like seeing yeah, that. Now I will say, Jada said X was run up on you and take some shit from you. And I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. Playing no games with him out there. I can tell you. <laughs> he said, my see DMX walking down the street. My fuck's going the other way. Like, I'm out of here. Before we wrap this up, and this definitely, man, it's uh, well, October. We definitely gonna get you back here before this year over. Oh, yeah. I, like, I like kicking it with you. I like appreciate it, man. Like the time I called you, man. I called you, man. I forgot we ended up talking for damn near an hour. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I called him and I talked to him for an hour and yeah. shit. But, you know, man, just certain people just vibe, man. Yeah. You know, you be on that real shit, man. And I, you know, I pride myself on just trying to be real, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, if you could put the verses battle down, what would you pick? Uh, For, for me? Yeah. Yes. Who would I like to battle? Yeah. Give me Wayne. And who? No, 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 no. Not versus you. Oh, just yeah, together? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm shocked that you said Wayne. Man, I love to try yeah. Wayne, man. I, I, You know, I want that old raw Wayne. You know what yeah. I mean? When he was really spitting, man. Because, uh, I, man, I'm telling you, man, I, I ain't even begin to unleash, man, some of my arsenal, man. I'm just toying around, man. I really <laughs> yeah. hold back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've been I, releasing safe I, I songs. Can't wait till you drop, man. man, I just really been releasing. I can kind of tell from that hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I, I just I've that. been releasing safe songs, man. I got, I got, man, so many gritty, grimy. I got, to, and I record all the time, man. I just don't post all the time. I don't release all the time, yeah. you know. But I record all the time, man. But uh, if yeah, what verses would I like to see, man? I, I just see, I enjoy it, man, but. It, you know, I like for them to give, um, I don't know, maybe sh some of the old school beefs, man. Either Shan and LL, uh, Kumo D and LL. Real but quick, you, real quick. What, what, that ain't three Shan song. Oh, don't do me. I'm the history of hip hop. Oh, hey. Come just saying, like, what are you going to put verses up against? The bridge. What are you gonna, did you say verse LL? Yeah, but they, no, but they was beat. Gonna go but, but he I'm ain't going to go that far. But I'm saying, because versus, they go song for song. I know song. they got an album. It ain't too many motherfuckers about go song for song with LL. She ain't going to have to dig out the whole juice yeah, proof for yeah, LL. Hell yeah. Marley yeah, 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 yeah. Marner, Roxanne. <laughs> nah, hey, but I just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked it. Boy, Why yeah. Like L was killing them. And I tell yeah, people that, and they don't believe that LL was a beast. Listen, listen. I was just telling them. In the nineties, I low key was on some hater shit. What? Well, Cause really? I, I I ain't like doing it in the nineties. On what? Yeah, 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 shit. They doing it, doing you it, doing it. Doing it. it right. I hated that fucking song. <laughs> I like it. Hold on, hold on. I listen to that shit today. I'm like, man, this shit was harder than a bitch. <laughs> this was like, no. Nah. Cause you had probably heard that uh, the the radio That's and exactly earlier LAO. Really. And it was yeah, he had, and I didn't yeah. respect the transition. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. It Sometimes it's definitely. But even hard, even so. that, nah, I might have just been hating because I came from I need love. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. The uh, round the way girl type. Like that shit. was yeah, boom. yeah. Boom, that boom. shit. The bass was so hard. My shit. If I did a versus, man, listen, this shit would be <laughs> epic. A fucking cube versus Scarface. Oh, Ice Cube yeah, versus Scarface, yeah. man, this shit will be ridiculous. Which Cube, though? Just all Cube? Any Cube. Um, any Cube. Any Cube. Like, some transitions. Black Power Cube? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This Goofy Cube we got today. I'll be telling them, though. Yeah, I'll be <laughs> telling people that Cube, uh, yeah. that Cube was raw. But, you know, sometimes, you know, these guys are grandfathers. Oh, from 1988 to 94, our shoe was already the best. I like to think when I'm a granddad, I'm going to be a different motherfucker, too, man. You know what I'm Would you dispute that? What? From like 88 to 94, Ice Cube was arguably the best rapper in the world. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. That shit was raw, man. I was young as fuck. Shit. And I was like, what the fuck is West that? West Coast had that shit, man, shit. for a minute, boy. They yeah, definitely had it, man. Dad said that. About Q. Man, that shit was good. Man. Oh, Q was raw, man. NWA, man. Short Dog, man. That shit was crazy. Uh, man, the West Coast had it for a long time, man. man. You know, Atlanta, don't get me wrong. Atlanta got a hell of a run, but 
The West had that shit, boy. Man, you know who it's hard to listen to today? Oh, I hate to say this. I hate to say this. East Coast? Mm -mm. Well, I hate to say this. E40. Man, I love 41. It's hard, it's hard for me to go back and listen to E40. Why? Why? Man, I, mean, I it's see like I got I got to pick and choose. Like I love the Hall of Game. No, no, no. What's the shit with Dust and Disgusting? In a major way. Yeah, it's that, that's I that can way. listen to that shit in front of the back, but it's some shit I can't. Anything before that, I can't fuck with. For real? Not nothing before. I can fuck with that click a little bit. I can fuck with that shit with Boosie or uh, <laughs> Captain Save Ho, but uh, he's all that federal shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I like federal. I think he went left. He lost me when he went to that the hyphy, like yeah. that movement. Dumb, dumb, but I dumb, I know that was just some Bay Area type of, yeah, that wasn't for me right there, but. I, I kind of like that, man. Like, I kind of like that. I feel like 40, yeah. I feel like 40 don't, they need to give 40 his motherfucking flowers, man. I, 40 is definitely underrated, man. And he never, he really always been 40, though. I can definitely a billion, trillion, gazillion percent agree with that <laughs> yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. That nigga has been historically overrated. Historically. And I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, now it's just, he, he can, even when I say I can't go back and listen to it, he can rap. But what else is shit I can't listen to? Niggas can't rap. I don't know. I must have been mentally ill in 96, 97, 98. Oh. Is there anything on no limit? <laughs> I might have been retarded, man. You didn't like him? I might have. Today, no, go back and listen. Go back and listen. Go back and listen. Go back and listen to that fucking Mystical. Mystical was my God. Go back. Go oh. back. Go back like and listen. This was Friday. I like Silk by his. Chocolate. I'm fucking drunk. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. But. Let's be that milk. Like, I was so. <laughs> during that time, I was so. Into the ghetto culture, yeah, nigga, nigga. like I was just so into the streets. Hey, listen, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So As an older man with a lot of perspective yeah. and a better ear, go back and listen to that shit. I tried to no, listen to that for the music. I said, what? Hey, what? The bitch? <laughs> the bitch? I said, what the fuck was I listening to? Yeah, well, when I hear that, the bitch beating me. I said, what the fuck? Oh, nigga, that's that one. Man, hey, even like. I don't want to listen to this stuff. That shit. Don't do it to yourself. But that shit with him and that, uh, nigga, we B O U T I T B O U T I T. That shit is still hard today. I think, man, that was just. I, I, we just hadn't heard nothing like P. Like, no motherfucker just dropping that real ghetto shit. And I think that yeah, that's what P. made us. The ghetto's trying to crazy. Man, come uh, on. Mama. And during that time, bro. <laughs> during that time, <laughs> nigga, I was in the ghetto. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That shit was hard. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That shit was hard. I was, I was, a, I was, I was a casual <laughs> observer. I didn't want no parts of that fucking life. You didn't know what was going on in. Oh man, that's all. That's when I first started fucking with Jay Z. Oh uh, yeah, and I now, fuck with Jay. You gotta say my boy had just got killed. And they Tupac. That's my nigga. So and then yeah, that's, I, I got tired of all that rest of these Tupac shit too though. Yeah. From No Limit, I got tired. Of oh that shit. everybody. But I'm No just... Limit over did that shit. They had, like they was friends. <laughs> like like Pac was on yeah, every yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. That's, I don't know. But, I mean, you can't deny the hustle. He, he killed that shit. Uh, shout out to his cereal. Y'all getting some? Who is it? Who? The Hootie Hoo? Yeah. yeah. I might try them for the kids, man. My kids like rap music, so they like they like to rap. Yeah, man. Give me some Travis Scott burgers. Yeah. <laughs> I actually went and got one of them. Your cereal tastes like kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I actually went and got one of them, man. And and Travis I, mm -hmm. oh, I went and got like uh, the, the first day or whatever, man. I got the little meal, man. <laughs> you was in line with the skinny jeans on. Nah, <laughs> no, absolutely not. But I, I, I just, I just, um, just tried it. And Hello, then, fellow uh, kids. I had wanted to do a little review of it, though. Did you do it? Well, yeah, I did a little review okay. on Instagram. My uh, whole thing is... Uh, well, how come I see everything but everything else on your shit? I ain't see that. Algorithms, mm. man. Because I, I, I actually I got a buddy, man, that got a restaurant, man. I, I don't even want to name drop, but he know who he is. And uh, I took... Ronald. That, no. Donald. No. I wish that was my buddy. <laughs> now, but I took that uh, concept to him to uh, come out with a Ramaside meal, and I told him that I would direct traffic, and I wasn't looking for money, but I was just looking to, uh, for one, help my friend who's a business owner 
because that's what I do. I try to help my people grow. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, people would have been coming in there like, hey, can I get that Ramasan value meal? And, uh, you know, he didn't see the value in it. And then they did the Travis Scott thing, and now they're doing the J Balvin thing. And McDonald's is talking about a 5% increase in sales. Mm. But 5%, it sounds like a little bit, but when you're talking about billions of fucking dollars, you know, the 5% increase in sales that they made, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but it, 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 I don't know. It just really, um, it amazes me when I try to, uh, help people sometimes, man, us, uh, black people, man, we look at each other like, how is this motherfucker trying to hustle me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, you know, hopefully my guy will hear that and he'll think twice about it. But, you know, because I hate to get on down the line and then, you know, I'm they can't afford me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I'm steady working and I'm steady growing. And then eventually there may be a time when I'm not in charge of my mm-hmm. business moves. You know what I'm saying? So I try to have an advisor. Would yeah. advise me not to fuck with you. Yeah, well, that's the thing, you know. And uh, so that's the reason why a lot of times, man, artists do get on, man, and they don't, you know, they be feeling like, uh, you know, like on some fuck the world shit, man. Because uh, sometimes, man, I, I kind of feel like that too, man. When I try to, you know, you know, we just ask a motherfucker to just push play. Yeah, nigga, you ain't even got to buy the goddamn song no more, nigga. Yeah. Just push play. Mm. You might discover your new jam. Mm. So, I don't know, man. Hey, another fantastic show. Uh, hey, tell people where they can find you at. Man, I'm on Instagram all day, every day, man. But my music is available everywhere. Music is streamed, man. Uh, I go by Reckless Ramaside, but if you just Google Ramaside, I'll pop up. You already know, ain't no party like a Ramaside party. Yeah! I always say that. <laughs> I always say that. What's up, though? Uh, Juvie, what you got? You said you got that shit with Pac. Uh, hell yeah, about to drop Gift Pack, man. She got six tracks on it. Hell yeah, about to drop that. Shout out to Pac. Shout Pat. out to Gift Pack. Uh, shit, man, I'm ready to get in shape, man. Like, I'm feeling that shit. You feel me? Like, are you? Hell yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. Motherfuckers telling me in the gym. Yeah, you looking little. You looking yeah, short, you look man. Like, you look so short. Thing, man. Yeah, you like, like no. yeah, 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 yeah. shit. Yeah, that shit make you feel good. Yeah, yeah, you looking yeah. short. Motherfuckers watching me hit the bag. Now, when somebody stop and watch you hit the bag, that's how you know you looking short. Do it kind of make you like, you like, I got a short. Yeah. <laughs> So man, I really been focused on that, man. I'm about to go back hard in that and see where it's, see what that's gonna take me. Spence gonna be Garcia. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I think, well, I think I'm gonna try to go to that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, matter of fact, the tickets, the tickets go they on just, sale they about tomorrow. To go tomorrow. Yeah. I gotta see how much they are. They shouldn't be that much, man. They can't be trying to crack for that shit. They can't. They can't. Yeah, I was pricing flights today. But yeah, yeah. Uh, you already know what it is. This is the best podcast you've ever heard. never heard of. Shout out to Jason, Jason Richie. I don't know where Jason is. He he gone somewhere. Tia Fimo uh, Lopez this weekend. Tia Fimo gonna whoop his ass. Tia Fimo gonna whoop him. Tia Fimo gonna whoop him. Lopez gonna take I feel you. Mm-hmm. He got my skill set, but they start overrating him. He just went up. And then tanking. Him, I mean, him, I hate to say it, but the people that call one and two at uh, Pound for Pound both overrated. Mm-hmm. Him and Crawford. Yeah, yeah. They you both think Crawford? Crawford, 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 Crawford ain't never beat nobody. Crawford ain't never beat nobody. His best fight is over Gamboa or Burns. I got it, man. I feel like he can really box, so I'm going to have to. Then he got dropped by. We're going to talk about that shit off here. Yeah, we can get another 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. We catch y'all uh, next week on the best podcast you never heard of, The Conceited New. Buddy. Shout out to Ramasar for coming through. He'll, he'll be back. <laughs> the Conceited Nobody. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m.